Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintFotech.com and on this video we'll be looking at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 16.241. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the fall curious update which is expected to release later this year. While this isn't a significant update, there are a few new improvements so let's get a closer look at the most worthy changes in this build. In this new update, the acrylic material, part of the Fluent Design System, for Windows 10 coming with the uh, fall curio subject has been updated to be just a little bit less noisy. Uh, you're going to notice this when you open Action Center as you can see right here and throughout different apps and UI on the operating system. It's not significant but they're making the change uh, based on feedback. The uh, test manager continue to get improvements and on this flight the uh, processes tab now shows better labels for uh, Microsoft Edge processes so you can better distinguish each process with the uh, web browser. And the performance tab, I don't have the uh, GPU section because I'm using a software based graphics adapter but just let me show you that uh, this is how it looks like when you have a hardware based GPU and basically now this page shows uh, by default uses the uh, multi-engine uh, view which allows you to see the active GPU's name and also allows you to uh, view the uh, functions that are currently active including 3D video decoding and video processing. On Windows 10 build 16.241 we also are going to find new improvements for Windows update. So just let me open the uh, settings up and then let's go to update and security and then let's go to advanced options and then click delivery optimization and on this page now you're going to find two new links advanced options and activity monitor on advanced options you can now manage how much bandwidth windows uses for system and apps updates uh, typically windows 10 will try to optimize the bandwidth usage to prevent interruptions while you're using your device but if you are on a slow connection or watching uh, videos online, for example, uh, the slowdown can be significant. So uh, this feature allows you to get more control over updates. So you can enable uh, the download settings and you can specify the amount of bandwidth for download updates in the background. But you can you can go only as slow as 5%. So you can just de uh, disable Windows Update using this feature. If you're using the option to download updates from other devices in the internet, you can also restrict the use of upload bandwidth. Additionally, there is an option to control the total amount of data sent to other devices by enabling the uh, monthly upload limits. So you just need to turn on the uh, feature and you can set the uh, how much bandwidth is used for uploading updates to other PCs. And if you are worried about data usage that gets uploaded, you can set the uh, minimum or maximum and you can go as low as five gigs. Once the uh, limit is reached, uh, your device will stop uploading uh, updates to other PCs on the internet. In Activity Monitor, you will simply find a statistic about downloads and uploads. And you can see exactly the amount of data coming from other devices on a local network or other devices on the internet based on your settings. And that's pretty much all that's new inside of the uh, settings app. 
However, it's also worth noting that this feature is officially introduced with the uh, build 16.2.41, but it was previously included on Windows 10 build 16.2.37. For the uh, Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, Microsoft is also adding a new easy way to reset your password or PIN on the uh, lock screen. Uh, this feature also appeared on Windows 10 Build 16.2.37. So I'm just going to lock my PC. And here now on the lock screen, you will see a link that it's called just a, I forgot my password and that is the same link uh, will show up for uh, if you forgot your pin so when you click that link it will take you to a new experience uh, using Cortana okay let's get you a new password follow the instructions and I'll be waiting when you're ready and here you can just enter uh, the um, the required information to recover your password. Once you have you have your new password, you will get directed to the uh, lock screen again, and you can sign in with your new password. And that's pretty much everything that is included on Windows 10 Build 16.2.41. Remember to like the video and leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.